Yeah, you can turn mm. your camera can be turned off altogether so no one will see you. Oh yeah, we were talking about spiders laying eggs, maggots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, eggs like an egg burst and all these little <laughs> tiny spiders went all over Rose. Oh my I gosh, mean, there was can I tell the most terrifying thing that happened to me once? Yes. I woke up once with ants all over me. Oh, oh god. No. Oh. Yeah, oh, and so it. I transferred into my wheelchair, obviously smushing them, right? Like, it's like, just yeah. imagine it was Ooh, horrible. It's me itchy. <laughs> I, they, were, they weren't the, the bad kind of, I, in California, the ants are no big deal. And they and the, the ant here and there wouldn't bother me, but I don't know what happened. Like, I left my window open or something, and they just found their way in, maybe because I left a snack on my nightstand. Who knows? But I wake up, and I was on my side. So you know how when you wake up and you look up, like, over your shoulder, you see your own side of your butt? Yes. Well, I saw it covered in ants and I'm just like, oh, oh my God. So I get into my wheelchair and then I go into the bathroom and I jump into my shower chair and I turn on the shower and I'm just spraying myself all over and just oh, like, I, I was alone. And so I couldn't even like whine about it to anyone. It was, mm. I couldn't, you know, I just wanted someone else to like understand that it really was. Like, well, yeah. Now, you're you're in Southern sure. California. So the, the, those are those black sugar ants, right? Well, I'm, I'm not currently, I was in California at the time. Now I'm in Louisiana okay. and that would have not been good, but in California it was fine. I've yeah. got a really good story. Um, I climbed into bed one night, I got all comfy and then I felt this sharp pain and I jump out of bed and I pulled the covers back and there were two bees in my bed. I had got oh. stung. Oh, oh damn it. God. How'd they do get in there? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! But I <laughs> tore my bed apart that night. I completely <laughs> tore it apart because I was scared to get back in bed. What are you laughing at, Mel? <laughs> Karuna Legend says <laughs> the first comment was, "Wait, I can use an packs after a fight." That was the first one, and then the second one was, "Wait, when I get beat up again, if I lose a fight and put a tampon up my nose?" <laughs> <laughs> That's Stop what happened. It. You, you know, OB tampons are a go-to <laughs> uh, absorbent material for trauma kits. For yeah. Ooh, I didn't soldier. know that. Yeah. What I can say is nine millimeter you size, nose, you know. If you get your nose broken, douching doesn't help. No, tampon's probably a better way to go. <laughs> but, um, well. The dad jokes are endless around here. <laughs> is that because a dad like, joke? Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. If you put oh. a, tampon, a tampon in your nose, you probably will get beat up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say, Rose? I just remembered when I was a volunteer at the rehab for like strokes and uh, spinal cords and amputees and stuff. Mm -hmm. I used to be a volunteer every Friday and my job was to hand out everyone's schedule on Fridays and explain to them what speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, just be like, oh, this person's really cool. You're going to love them. They'll come right. in and and I'd say things like, I know you're, they're going to seem like, you know, they're being hard on you, but trust me, if you listen to them, your life is going to be easier later. You know, I was a perfect person for that volunteer.